Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published four YouTube videos on SAP automation by using Tosca. So this is our fifth lesson where I'm going to teach you or I'm going to start teaching you about actual test case automation by using Tricentis Tosca for SAP applications. So please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so agenda is test case automation by using Tosca, specifically SAP application related test cases. So by using Tosca, if you want to automate test cases, there are five series of major steps that we need to follow. First step on the screen, scan your SAP GUI controls and create required modules. That is our first step. And second step is you need to create a test case structure. And third step, create test steps using modules. And fourth one is populate test step values for the test cases. And fifth one, define test configuration parameters and run your automated test cases. So these are the major five steps that you need to follow to complete your test case automation end to end. So in this session, I'm going to teach you about first two steps. We are going to scan your SAP GUI controls and we are going to create modules for automating our end-to-end -end test case. And then we are going to create test case structure for the test scenario that you would like to automate. So now let's understand what is test case in Tosca. So I'm going to teach you navigation of your test case section in Tosca and then we are going to define and create folder structure for test case creation that reflects your workflow. So basically test case is nothing but creation of your folder structure that represents the workflow of your use case. And then test case is the elements containing the sequence of information. So test case nothing but it's elements contain the sequence of your information. And then what is the difference between test case and modules? So modules I already told you in my previous session. Modules are nothing but which contains the technical information. Whereas test cases contains the business information. Okay. So we need to follow the proper naming conventions for the test cases. So I'm going to teach you in this session and also you need to use the three approval stages for any kind of artifacts creation in Tosca. Like whenever you start creating the test cases, then you will be changing the status of your test case as planned. Once you start working on the test cases, you will be changing the status to in work. And once you complete test case creation, then you will be changing the status to complete. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see our first step. We need to capture the controls of your SAP GUI for automating the test case. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see how can we capture the controls of your SAP application that is required for your test case to automate. And then I'm going to teach you how to create the text case structure in the latest version of the Tosca. So now let's jump onto the system and see. Okay. So now, so as I explained you to automate your test cases, first we need to scan all the controls that are required to automate your test case, right? So basically all the controls of your SAP application. Okay, so for that, so now let's navigate to modules. Under modules, 
you need to navigate to zero to tosca sap gui automation okay under this let's create a new folder here let's create a new folder and name this folder as okay name this folder as 01 zero 01 zero name this folder as 01 generate and verify sales order so basically our test case is to generate and verify the sales order so we are going to generate the sales order so we are going to scan uh, two to three i mean around three different screens to generate the sales order and to verify the sales order right so this test case um go through three different screens and hence i'm going to scan all three different screens and required controls for the automation okay so this is our folder name and now let's go to sap gui and log into sap i already told you how to log in and how to perform all these activities earlier okay so i'm entering my username and then password and click on enter and here now we you need to navigate to a screen by specifying in the search bar here on top you have a search bar right forward slash n v a 01 okay this will take you to the create sales order screen create sales order initial screen okay so i already explained you this initial i already showed you this initial screen in my previous session okay but anyway so now let's scan the controls of the screen first okay so right click on the folder that we created right click on the folder that we created and click on scan and click on application this opens your x scan window and you need to select the application that you want to scan okay so the x scan window shows you all the applications that are opened in your desktop okay so this is my application i selected my application that i want to scan and click on scan okay so once you click on scan so now you need to add the controls that are required on the screen okay so now let's i want to add order type i want to add sales organization i want to add distribution channel and the division okay so all these i have already added and now let's rename this module as i'm going to add some additional information here enter enter data type sorry enter data type and arc details arc data okay and then now you can simply save and finish screen so if you click on finish screen what happens it's going to clear the controls i already explained you about the functionality of your x scan so now it gives me opportunity to create another module with the same session correct so now the new module that we stored has been stored here okay with the controls that i scanned now i can now again scan some more i mean another screen for new module so for that now i need to enter this screen so that i need to enter the data in the screen so that i can move to the next screen okay so here org type is or and my sales organization is 1000 and then my channel is 12 and division is 00 okay so then hit enter or click on 
this so as soon as you hit enter or click on this you will be navigating to the create standard order overview page okay and now again let's scan the controls on this page okay again go back to your scan and here now scan screen okay scan screen so it is just waiting okay now i can scan the controls that are required okay so i need sold to party ship to party and po number so only these three controls that are required okay so now let's save this module by renaming it okay here i want to rename this as overview enter data in fields okay now again click finish or first save and then finish screen or just save it and then finish screen now i have to scan another screen controls for that first let me just simply manually enter some information here and move to the next screen okay i want to enter sold to party as 1175 again 1175 sold to party ship to party and po number 123 and one more thing is here i have to enter one item material item here okay so even though we have not captured the controls of this table i'm going to capture the controls of this table in the next sessions okay for now i'm going to simply capture the details here okay let me enter the item number as 2 and the material as m-08 and order quantity as 5 and unit as st that's it now you can hit save basically you can hit enter or save the record okay save cannot be used ship to party okay i one one sorry okay i have to change it as 1175 okay and save this so now it's got saved right now i've already captured the details of the screen now you have to go to go to the menu called go to on top menu go to and then go to header and click on sales so once you click on sales now i need to capture the control of this page okay again go back here click on scan screen okay so let's wait and now i want to capture only one uh, field from this particular screen okay only one field i want to capture i want to capture date field here the document date okay just hit capture this and here rename this as rename this as add some additional details enter date field enter date field okay and then hit save and then finish screen and you can close this okay so now let's go back to our modules if you see i have created total three different modules by capturing the controls of three different screens okay so this po number actually you can change the sequence of these controls so if you observe the po number was actually at the end so you can simply drag and put it this way drop at the end oh sorry drag and drop at the end so this this way what happens right so basically the sequence the sequence it's very easy for you to enter the values ship to party sorry sold to party ship to party and then po number okay so this way you can change the sequence of your controls also in the modules so now we have completed 
capturing all the controls that are required to automate our test case. So what is our test case? We are going to create a sales order, right? And then we are going to validate the sales order. That's our test case. Now let's automate our test case. I mean, that is my first step. Okay. Test case automation, as I told you, test case automation involves, involves series of steps. Correct. The first step is scan all the controls of your application and second step for this session is test case structure creation creation of test case structure okay so now as we completed scanning controls now our second step is create test case structure okay so now let's go to test case section and start creating test case structure okay so to create test case structure so you need to navigate to test case section okay and if you remember in my previous sessions of my test um, automation specialist sessions i told you that the modules are the technical contains the technical information controls and their technical information and test cases are the business information so these modules can be dragged and dropped to the corresponding test case step. You simply drag and drop to the corresponding test cases so that the technical information will be tied to a corresponding test case. So that's why it is very important for us to first create a test case structure and then drag and drop your corresponding modules to the corresponding test case or test case folder okay so now to create a test case structure first you have to go to 01 task or sap gui automation expand this once you expand you will have sales and service process and then order to cache so you can see you will see two test cases are already created here okay now we i'm going to create a new test case okay first to create new test case okay right click and then click on create test case this is the symbol for test case okay and name this as 01 generate and verify sales order if you remember correctly i have created a module module also a new module with the same name generate and verify sales order right so this is my first test case okay under this i'm going to create the structure so right click and click on create folder first i need to log in so basically this test case folder structure represents the sequence of your uh, test case execution okay so sap login before that let's do one thing okay here because we already started working on this test case, you have to change the work state as in progress, in work, in work. Okay. So SAP login, that is one folder I created. Now again, you can right click and click on folder or you can use this shortcut control period or control full stop. Okay. Control period that will duplicate your folder and you can simply rename once i log into my sap application i'm going to open the transaction right in the sap application so as i as i showed you first we log in and then we are going to open the transaction by entering this one okay open your transaction and once that is done i'll be landing onto initial screen correct so now again control dot so now name this as initial screen done and then again control dot create another folder called overview okay and then another folder called header data okay header data right and again one more last folder 
called close transaction that's it so this is my test case structure and this is my technical information or the controls that i have captured to automate my end to end verify i mean create generate and verify sales order okay so we have completed creating i mean two steps right one is capturing the controls and creating a test case structure so in my next session i'm going to teach you the third step where we are going to create test steps for this particular test case structure okay for this test case structure we need to create test steps that is our third step of your test case automation and then my next session i'm going to teach you the fourth step where we are going to enter the values or we are going to provide the test data to the test steps that we created okay so if you hope you all understand the concepts of your modules or scan your sap application and create test case structure if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concepts of the first two steps of your test case automation that is scanning your sap application to capture the controls that is your first step and then second step is creation of test structure basically test case structure so in the upcoming session i'm going to cover the third step creation of test steps using modules and then again after that session i'm going to teach you how to populate the test step values for the test cases and then in our further session i'm going to teach you how to run your fully automated test cases by using tasca please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you